I'm going to show you how to get out of a bad overclock. So when you're overclocking and it gets to the black screen rather than a blue screen of death, because uh, obviously with a blue screen of death you can just wait until it cycles right to the end and then you're waiting for the BIOS to come back and go back into the settings and change it. Well, you can't do it if you've got a black screen. That's like the black screen of death, which it feels like your motherboard is actually bricks, but it's not. So when you do an overclock on memory or the CPU or both and you can't get back to the screen, I'm going to show you how to do that. So what I'm going to start off with, as you know, Ryzen CPUs don't overclock too well. They overclock okay, but there's not much of a big headroom for it. So I'm going to go with 4200 gigahertz. I know that I can overclock to 4.05 gigahertz and 4.075 gigahertz, and it'll be stable, but 4.1 and 4.2 definitely a no-no and I've got the CPU core voltage at 1400 volts but I'm going to I think that's a bit much actually 1.4 volts right so let's do it at 1.45 uh, volts and everything else ticked off and then I'm just going to save it then the computer switched off and it cycles through and then hopefully we'll get some sort of windows uh, happening when you go to load into windows and if not it will just crash and then the computer will keep restarting and turning off restarting and turning off and then I'm going to show you how to sort it out yeah so you will also need one of these as a jumper so you can jump the battery CMOS battery and uh, clear the CMOS so that means that it will return everything back to its factory settings on the motherboard so right now nothing's happening so that's not too bad. So I should be able to just turn the computer off as it's complete black screen. And reboot back into the BIOS. Now I'm gonna go with a more heavier overclock with memory as well, because we wanna see this black screen and how to get out of it. And here we are, we're back into the BIOS screen. So I'm gonna go back to overclocking. Uh, I'm gonna to go to four, 1100 gigahertz that's a lot of gigahertz 4.1 gigahertz and then we're going to be um, doing a CPU MB voltage and we're going to put that at one one point just one uh, 1000 volts and not 1000 volts one point uh, thousand volts you know what I mean and uh, we're going <laughs> to up increase the memory as well the DRAM and we're going to go with uh, 3 and then we're going to go with that at 125 1, 2, 3, 5 should we go with 1 we're going to go with 1 we're going to go with 1 on that one actually and then we're going to go with the other one at 1, 2, 3, 5 as well that didn't even take 1, 2 one, two, three, five. One, two, three volts, okay. And then we're going to put in XMP as well, enabled, expert. And then we're going to change the frequency as it's at 2400. As it's at 2400, we're going to put it down to 2667. And as you can see, all the CPU frequency is 4.1 gigahertz. We enable drum frequency and XMP as well at DDR4 267 megahertz. And CPU voltage is all increased. Uh, now, just going to save the settings. And now we should have a black screen where it completely crashes. So as you can see, computer is completely kind of bricked in the brick situation, but it's not actually bricked. It just needs to be recovered back to its normal factory uh, settings. So that's what we're going to do. But just to see what you should be expecting, it's not exactly cycling through or anything like that. So this is what normally happens. And you're like, oh no, my computer's broken. And I have to 
I'll remain it back to the company. Well, no, you don't, because I'm going to show you how to fix it. I will get there in the end, so don't. I know I keep saying I'm going to show you. I will show you. See? Dun, 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 dun. One more time. <laughs> there we go. So what we're going to do is completely take off from the back. And then we're gonna we're gonna put the jumper in, and this jumps back to the uh, factory settings. So basically, the CMOS battery is here, and then the jumper is right there next door to it, and that's what kills it off. Then we're gonna take out the power supply lead. And we're going to leave that for 30 seconds. I'm going to plug it back in, so there's the mains adapter back into the back. And then I'm turning the computer on, and I've still got the jumper in there. Now I'm going to take the jumper off, and then I'm going to power it on, and it should work. And if it doesn't work, oh well. And here we go. So we're back into the BIOS. Well, actually, it comes back to the factory settings, the motherboard and everything like that, and you just press F1, and then we'll go straight back into the BIOS, and it's simple as that. And that is how you clear a black screen that you think your computer is actually bricked, which it's not, but that's how you do it. So whether you've got an overclock of memory, and it's gone wrong, or CPU, or both, that's how you get it back uh, to the normal settings. Simple as that. I'm back to 3.6 gigahertz and 2,400 meg uh, megahertz on the clock on the memory, so if I go back to overclocking, as you can see, everything's gone back to normal. And this doesn't work when you just take the, the um, kettle plug out, or if you take the Cos uh, CMOS battery out on its own, it won't work. Don't know why, but it won't work. You have to do it that way. But that's how you sort that out. So if you like this video, and you thought it was helpful, give me a thumbs up. If not, dislike it, leave a comment down below. Tell me what I could have done to improve be much more things better than what I have tried to explain in here. Hopefully it explained it really well. There's affiliate links down below. Check them out if you're going to buy something. Helps the channel grow, 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 grow. And uh, follow me on all social media platforms if you want to find out what's going on. You want to see some nice pictures or some builds and that. Not this one. This one's okay, but it's not like a special build. But this was built especially for the 1600X, just so I can overclock it. And yeah, see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.